Hey guys, welcome back. You know, um, I'm upstairs, so there's gonna be a slight echo. Um, and the humming you hear is the freeze dryer running away. Nonstop on that freeze dryer since I got it up and running. And uh, I imagine for several months, I'm just gonna be cranking away there. Anyways, it's been a couple months, I think almost four months since I posted a video about the food shortages um, globally and specifically to the Philippines. And uh, in those four months, I've been stacking food as much as I can. You know, um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not rich, right? So I do what I can and I, I've been stacking, but I've focused quite a lot on my food preps since I, um, I'm about 90% done with my medical prep. So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, budget and do things. But uh, I saw an article today that kind of surprised me and uh, the Philippines, which is a bunch of islands, thousands of islands um, out in the middle of the ocean, is importing fish now. Up to 60 metric tons they're going to import. They're importing fish. Um, I don't know where they're importing it from because if they can't find the fish locally, uh, that's a problem. But they're, they're at a point right now where they're importing fish. and. Uh, we know they import rice, and, and the problem they're gonna have with importing rice is they've been importing it from China, India, Pakistan, and all these other places that have stopped exporting rice. So I think uh, rice is gonna be a pretty good problem next year. And it's not just the countries that were exporting before, no longer exporting, it's also the storms that we've had um, in the last several months that have wiped out a lot of local crops. And uh, I think rice is going to be a surprising um, commodity very soon out here. But uh, this is just kind of a quick video. Now I'm going to show you my pantry. I'm going to give you a quick peek. And this is the food I'm stacking for long term. This is not the everyday pantry I use downstairs, um, which I used to feed 10 to 15 people a day. You know, my crews, my work crew, my family, whatever, whoever happens to be here, they get fed. Um, that's a different pantry, and we keep that one rolling pretty good. But this is the food I've been buying for long term, and this is the stuff I'm planning um, probably not to touch for at least a year. Most everything I've got in the pantry, which I'll show you in a second, um, I've had and double-checked all the dates. Now, I haven't put the stickers on the shelves yet because I'm still getting a lot of arrivals, and I have two more shelves to build. But once everything's kind of in its place, I will go through and put the stickers on the shelves showing the expiration date. So I can rotate through my, my stock. Um, I, I do plan on having a lot of food, but I don't want it to waste just sitting for a year, right? If it's gonna to get to uh, you know, a year beyond best use date, I wanna make sure I go ahead and get it um, put into my inventory. This is not gonna be a, 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 a long video. This is just gonna be a short video. Um, I haven't talked about food shortages out here in a while, but they are crazy. Um, actually, uh, the food is here, it's just expensive. So pardon my mess, because you'll see that I'm still sorting things out. So I have a room that I'm setting aside for my pantry, and I have two new shelves that just came in today that I'll, I'll put together. But uh, things that I'm buying are like, I, I got, I don't know, 50 pounds of oatmeal, potatoes, 100 cans of uh, Spam. Now this Spam is not Spam like you're used to in the US, but it is Spam and it's just branded by Koreans. And uh, for those that like the energy bars, it's a super emergency, I have a bunch of these too. I might get more because they're not that expensive, but they're really good in um, a pinch. I've got just a couple boxes of Lucky Me, which is um, top ramen for you guys in the US. It's similar, different flavor. And then uh, empty shelves, which are gonna get stocked. But down here, you know, I got 100 cans of sardines and tomatoes, 100 cans of corned beef, 100 cans of hot and spicy tuna, which we like, and 100 cans of uh, corned chicken. I've got 10 sacks of breadcrumbs because everyone here seems to like fried fish and fried chicken with the breadcrumbs. I got some uh, corn here. Now the corn, I freeze dried some of it and, and I did a video on that, but uh, other things I have is I have 10 kilos of baking flour, 
10 kilos of red beans, 10 kilos of white beans. And then uh, I haven't arranged my shelves yet. So eventually I plan on putting uh, plastic containers all up in the top with all the freeze dried food I have. But if you were watching my videos, you know that I've been freeze drying chicken and eggs and corn. Um, I got chicken running right now. Um, if you notice, I have a lot of Augustine Farm stuff. A lot of the stuff I buy from them is stuff that I don't want to make myself. Like onions and veggie and soups and tomato powder and milk. and So the Augustine Farm stuff, I typically watch for sales, right? So if it's on sale and it has free shipping, I'll tend to buy some of it. Now, I have a lot more coming in from the U.S. that I already ordered. So that'll pack out a little bit. But I'm starting to get things, you know, pancake mix. Um, we talked about the potatoes oatmeal. Now over here, on the top shelf, I'm kind of keeping the stuff I want to make sure I keep because this is more of the higher end stuff. This is the uh, cans of pork cheek, cans of ham, the herring, oysters, scallops, salmon. Um, but I, I, I got a mix. Now I really like these soup mixes too, right? So I got a bunch of these um, whole grain 15 bean soup mixes. Some of this stuff I'm, I plan on using with the oatmeal. So this fruit mix, I'm gonna mix when I do my oatmeal in the freeze dryer. But I got chili, stews, uh, cheese. Cheese is gonna go into the um, chili cheese mac I'm gonna make in the freeze dryer. So I got some big cans of cheese because you're thinking who the hell eats that much cheese? But when I make uh, five trays of chili cheese mac, you're gonna see that cheese go pretty fast. Um, uh, it's a case of uh, peas, green peas. I like peas. And I got uh, 100 pieces of um, Hunt's baked beans, so I just ham and beans, some soups. Now, the MREs over here are obviously I use for videos. They're really expensive. Don't ever buy these, but they're really good for uh, content. Uh, tomatoes, more tomatoes. I'm buying a lot of tomatoes because tomatoes seem to be an issue out here. I buy some interesting things, too. I find a lot of German food. Um, that has a good shelf life, but like this one is uh, capers and potatoes and meatballs. Now, you can't read any, any of this, but it, uh, you know, I like meatballs and I like potatoes. The spaghetti sauce will probably get used up in some recipes. The jello, for sure, I got a whole bunch of jello puddings, not gelatin, but jello puddings. And the puddings, I'm going to make uh, freeze dried jello snacks, bite sized bits. Um, I have a whole bunch of coffee coming. Part of the shipment from us but uh, i also have teas and iced tea garlic so nasi goreng which is a specialized top ramen again for you in us some extra beans i haven't packed these up yet in the plastic because i want to wait till i get more supply because once i <laughs> once i close the lid on these little plastic guys right here they lock right so it's fine when i can fill them full of beans and lock them up but i don't want to put uh, stuff in there until it's ready Mouse trap because I did see a mouse run through here the other day. So I got a little sticky pad out here. This here happens to be salt, right? So, God, I think I have enough salt unless I start salting meat. I'm in good shape there. Uh, one of the things that I saw that went on sale for just two days only, and then it also had free shipping, was the potato slices. So potatoes are a thing. So I got a whole bunch of the uh, potato slices for reserve. Now, these are good in soups because they are slices and they are dehydrated not freeze-dried but they're good in soups and then if you like a gratin or scalloped potatoes they're really good for that these buckets will be filled with rice eventually there will be another shelf here um just i just got a mix of stuff I'm, i keep adding every day this is obviously not the full lot but I'm, I'm trying to build it the chicken stock i'll probably be using when i start cooking my noodles in the instapot um salmon jalapeno soup sauce chickens so obviously I'm, I'm a long ways away from being ready speaking of ready I got a, a, a one thing of ready wise breakfast entrees which is mostly granola milk and oatmeal but it was so cheap I just picked it up even though I'm going to make most of this stuff here myself so this is my pantry you see a lot of empty shelves but there is a lot of food here I've got 600 cans of protein I got the pasta I got the things going I obviously spent some time and money to get the <coughs> Augustine Farm stuff, which has a 25, 10 to 25 shelf life. It depends on the product, like the broccoli soup is only 10 years. But uh, 
my medical supplies are up here. I'll get those sorted out. Anyways, I just wanted to give a quick peek. All of the all the freeze dried stuff I'm doing will get arranged and will get sorted and binned out. And uh, yeah, I got a long ways to go, but I'm happy with, with what I've done in just a couple months. You know, I've gotten a couple months supply of food for not just me, but my family. So expect the next update on my pantry. This will be probably twice as full. And then I'll have stickers here indicating the, the expired by dates and things like that. I know I'm missing a lot of food staples. I got a lot of stuff on order that you don't see right now. You know, the gravy mixes, the spices, um, and things of that nature. And they're going to come in. I'm just kind of a, a, a thrifty guy. And if it's not on sale, I kind of just wait. But uh, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of where I'm at. You know, I told you a couple months ago, I think four months ago, start saving whatever food you can. And uh, I've been following my own advice. Now, people might say, well, that's just too much food. And I'm like, it really isn't a lot of food when you consider how many people I have to probably end up being responsible for if shit is the fan or <clears throat> our food is priced too high. But also at the same time, I want you to consider that uh, nobody out here can do this. I mean, this is a lot of money, even for me, it's a, it's a pretty good expense. But it's not, a, it's not a lose situation no matter what. Even if everything in the world is perfect, I save money because inflation is at such an all-time high right now, and especially food prices, that what I'm paying for this food today is going to be a minimum of 15% less of what if I had to buy it next year. And if you don't believe me, think about what you paid for food last year and what you're paying for it right now. So... That's it. Just a quick update. Um, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please hit the like I mean, or comment, right? You know, I get a lot of views. I really get a lot of views on my content, but what I don't get is a lot of likes and I don't get a lot of comments and I appreciate both of those. And if you're new, please subscribe. So give me about two more months and I'll give you another pantry update. It's probably going to be full of freeze dried food because I'm really focused on that right now. But uh, with that, thank you for watching.